this is an interesting one. Arkansas running back Niall Davis. The biggest issue for me is, outside of the durability, obviously, is the fumbling. He, this past year, it's constant. 6.4%. A bad fumble ratio is around 1.3%. All security is job security. Yeah, and thank you very much to ESPN Stats and Research because they help me every year with these fumble, the fumble numbers. This is the worst one we've ever looked up, and it's been about six or seven years of doing it. So, the fan games. Oh, dear. Fumble six percent of the time. Hey, I know he had two hundred yards and averaged six point five a carry as a sophomore with thirteen touchdowns and nineteen receptions. That was the year he was outstanding, Todd. And he's five eleven and a half, two hundred and thirty pounds. He runs a four three seven and he's a heck of an athlete. He's got enormous strength in the upper body. Kids got talent running the football. But when he holds on to the ball, he's productive with the ball. And we look, we've seen over the years, just ask the good people here in New York who watch Tiki Barber go from a fumble. Hey, Andy Ball's yeah, Curry Brown. Yeah. Bryce Brown fumbled a few times. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. That happened again. Bryce Brown, Brown that first Brown. start on Monday night, it was home run or swing and a miss with Bryce Brown. But, you know, that's something that has to be corrected if he's going to be a consumer in the NFL. But it is fixable. It is a fixable issue. We've seen it fixed. Thus proving that it is fixed. It's, yes. it's not always likely, fixable, to but be it fixed. is fixable. Yeah, I've, never, I've never gone this long without getting under your skin. So I can grow hair.